What's up, what's up, YouTubers? Today I'm going to talk about the 2024 Holiday Barbies designed by Mr. Carwell Nuetta. Yes, Mr. Carwell, the most fashion edgy, fashion forest Barbie designer at Mattel. I like the fact he bring back the classic scopes. Teresha, the last time they used the Teresha scope in the Holiday series was back in 2000, I believe. And we also have the Generation Girl. The last time they used that scope was in 2014. And they did use some of that scope in the early 2000s. And they feature finally by time Miss Desiree feature in the Holly Barbie series. It was about time. And we also have the Asian. She looks more Philippine. She looks more Blasian. I like that Carlo liked to make it more authentically diverse when it comes to his designs. And yes, Millie, again, I wish they used a Mackie or a Generation Girl as the blonde, even though I'm not going to get her. But I'm definitely going to get the, the Crystal Sculpt, the Desiree, and Miss Teresha. I am looking forward to see more classic scopes throughout next year. Okay, let me start off with the shoes. I love the platform shoes. It's definitely giving me the early 2000 Y2K aesthetics. You know, especially with the Barbie fashion nails with the platform shoes. It's just a little bit modern version. I am loving the bodice of the scalp of the of the top. I wish they had I wish the bodice of the top was green instead of red. I wish they had little details. I'm not gonna lie, but I love how it flares the shoulders in with the little skirt. And you can see the the back of the skirt. It has a pleated Christmas wrap pleated. I love it. It's it's actually a little bit more exciting for me because compared to last year, Holly Barbie, I was not feeling dressed. I didn't get the black one from last year, but I'm gonna get her and her redress her. But I actually love the dress. I love how it's fit. I love the shoes. And I love the pleated skirt with details. I actually love these earrings. I know a lot of collectors do not like these earrings. Here is Miss Desiree finally featured in the Holly Barbie Collector Series. So mind you, they did use that scope on the Holly Barbie Playline series back in 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, I believe, and also 2013. But finally in the collector series fans be asking for a long time and it finally came to the life. I like that Carlo bring back the classic scopes because compared to last year's ones, I was not really filmed this playline scopes on a Holly Barbie. I feel like they should incorporate more classic scopes on the Holly Barbie series only. They got some playline scopes scopes it's okay but it's all about the execution on what they do with the screen especially make their eyes more bold and stuff but I definitely order from Amazon so I should be receiving her sometimes tomorrow I'm definitely get Teresha as well here is the generation girl fans be dying for and this doll was sold out so quick on Mattel creation yesterday People went crazy, even though I'm not gonna get her, but she also will be a warmer exclusive. So I'm pretty sure they're gonna have plenty of her, just like they did with the All Dead scope with the 2002 Holly Barbie redhead. I like that scope. I do have her, but I'm looking forward to see more classic scopes incorporated in future releases. Take notes, Mattel, and I'm glad. Carlo Nuetta understands the assignment. The last time they used it was the 2014 Holly Barbie, which was 10 years ago. Damn, times go by fast. Here is the Crystal Scope. She looks all right in the collector series. I think it's all about the execution of the screening. And this scope was used mostly on black dolls. As you see this picture, I have those dolls. I actually like the scope. I know the Asian community is not really a big fan of that scope, but mind you, you know, Asian comes from a lot of various skin tones, features as well, as well as hair texture. So I know they got a little colorism in the Asian community, as well as the Latin community too, because 
They got a lot of them who especially have that white supremacy mindset, thinking everything that's catered to whiteness is better. That has been brainwashed, especially in different communities. Here is the Philippine design, Mr. Color with Nuweta, and here is some of the dolls he have designed over the course of the years that's going to represent his race, he's going to represent his culture. I like that Kolo Nuweta is not afraid of the critics because it's a lot of bitter ass doll collectors that, example like this fool right there, Freddie from Mattel to Fire, he's the first designer, like, and look at, and judging by his profile picture, uh, I wouldn't be talking. But anywho, I definitely like that. He does a great job designing black dolls when it comes to the culture. He understands. He does his time. He does his research when it comes to ethnically diverse and very authentic with a little sense of style. I love that he's not afraid to make it a little bit edgy when it comes to his, his designs. I'm definitely going to get her. I was a really intentionally original going to get her, but I'm going to get her when she's going to sell. I definitely have the pink collection one. Last but least, here is the Holly Barbie Teresha. Last time they used that scope was in the Holly series, was 24 years ago. Wow, damn. Shit times go by, fi by fast. But I'm glad they incorporate with her with a darker skin tone because to represent in the Latin culture that, you know, they do have Afro Latinas, you know, especially with baby hairs with textured hair and some with authentically black features that just show you that Latin culture it comes in diverse especially as black people as well but even though Sally the uh, Holly Barbie's dresses is not gonna be as the top eater compared to the old school Holly Barbie's we knew we loved and grew up on you know excited to see what the next Holly Barbie gonna be every single year but due to Mattel's limiting budget especially with a CEO that Campbell dry mouth looking ass motherfucker so anyway how you feel about this year Holly Barbie like comment share and subscribe and thank you y'all have a great day and happy holidays Christmas in July deuce